Now, when a woman right, has sex with you in a nail salon, for one, right, and says so she's 37, that's not the same as a 15-year-old girl saying she's 15 and having sex with you, and that would get you in trouble, right? I keep explaining something you're missing about my conversation with Michelle, right? One, she never said she was 15, right? And I don't sleep with 15-year-old girls. <laughs> Unless you're telling me you confused her and she had sex with me anyway. <laughs> and lied about her age that she was 37, right? <laughs> well, then say that, fool. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I don't know her before I met her either, either right? <laughs> I might have dreamed of her. <laughs> Like, you're not trying to make it something wrong I dreamed about by dreaming about an Asian-looking girl, right? Or an American, Native American-looking girl, which is kind of the same thing, right? I think they came to the land bridge, right? Between Russia and America, right? And I came down to America, right? <laughs> and South America, too, right? <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> How about you, Hello, <laughs> Well, they're Asianic, too. They're Asianic, too. <laughs> Lady of Americans, right? So, again, right? <laughs> and, uh, uh, even if my great-grandfather was Native American, they tried to read me out. Read him out. <laughs> uh, but like I asked you, is Watkins a Native American name or an Irish name or something? Right, yeah, right, right. So if the woman was Native American, even though she was 100%, he's 50% Irish, my great-great-granddad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or great-granddad, great-granddad. That's a, that's a, or, well, on, on his side, is Irish, right? Right. On his mother's side, is the Indian, right? Either Yamaka or Cherokee or Cherokee, right? But now... He married an Irish girl. Mm -hmm. Her surname was Skinner, right? So, see, he's half Irish then and half Native American, right? And I'm trying to explain my 29% Irish, right? Which a quarter could be from Miss Kip herself, right? Right. <laughs> okay, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um... See, a quarter comes from your grandparents, half your mom and dad, right, right. And then an eighth and then so on and so forth, right. See, see, <laughs> right. Now, a quarter and an eighth, you know, or sixteenth, right, right. I don't know how you look at it, right, right. I know, right. It's also like dividing your notes and music, right. You got your whole note. Your half note, your half note with a dot, which is three notes, right? Then you got your quarter notes, but the quarter note can have an extra dot, and that makes it a half a step, right? Right. Which is a note and a half, right? And then you have your eight notes, right? After the quarter notes, right? <laughs> And after the 8th, you have your 16th, and the 32nd is about the fastest anyone can sing, right? Period, period. Even Slim Shady can't sing that fast. <laughs> Nothing personal there. <laughs> Eminem. <laughs> oh, but anyway, but anyway. <laughs> right, right. A little musical knowledge for you. Mm hmm. But like I said, I don't like to do it on the shroud, who the hell that was. <laughs> don't tell me I don't. I know, right? Come to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Is that it? Coming to take them away. Ha <laughs> ha. Coming to take them away. Ha <laughs> ha. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, see, yahoo. And Yahoo means something different, right? In the Hebrew, too, right? Eliyahu, <laughs> right? Anyone, anyone. Y-H-W, huh? Ain't the other consonant an H for the divine name? Yeah. 
Okay, if that's all it is, where's the ah? <laughs> like Deborah Ra, right? Sarah, right? <laughs> so it was Sari, Sari, right? Like Sari, Sari. Like Tom said, right? Mm-hmm. Or Sari, Sari. <laughs> even, even. Who's sorry now? Sorry now. <laughs> I, I'm not saying sorry. I'm saying sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but I wouldn't go after Tom's daughter. I told you that. I don't go for nobody's daughter. But I'm looking for a daughter. See, that's the problem, right? Ain't looking for a son. <laughs> Looking for a daughter, fool. Right, right. Don't mean it's got to be yours, but it's got to be somebody's daughter now. Come on. <laughs> you only had sons or daughters here, right? <laughs> After the fall, too. Right. Well, if we could become one, I mean, what purpose would it serve, right? But if she had children without pain in Eden, the pain cause is cause of Satan, right? See, empathy, right, right, and having sex with a hermaphrodite, right, it's harder for them to give birth with the testicles mm -hmm, still in the stomach, right? See, the baby's weight would be added to, right, the delivery process, right, and could crush the testicles, right? See, that's why God made Adam too, right? And again, right. Now, when it's his turn for the butt sex, right, he introduced Eve to natural and then butt sex, right, and then let Adam get his, you know, vagina and butt, right, and then get Adam's butt, right. Well, that's what they don't want to talk about, right. <laughs> Durf. <laughs> the sex act itself in Eden, the fruit was the tree, of Satan's human body, right? You're a tree. Your fruit consists of three different things you can do. Your works, you know how you interact with other people, right? Your gardening, <laughs> you know, the God planted Eden, right? For us to pick the fruit of the tree, right? To give to your wife Eve, right? <laughs> that's a work, that's a fruit, right? The fruit of picking the fruit is a fruit, right? You see what I mean, right? And then the fruit of your body is the sex you have with Eve to make your children in Eden before the fall, right? And I told you, right? Where did Enoch go, right? The seventh from Adam. <laughs> he was translated. Where did Elijah go? <laughs> he was translated. The chariots of God brought him up into heaven, right? So if Adam and Eve had children before the fall, what do you think happened with them? They went down with Jesus, right? Right. Thur. <laughs> Which that's what the Christians are waiting for. If you use a combination of weapons technology, especially the neutron bomb, right? And see, with the neutron bomb, one person can be laying next to someone in bed, right? And that person be taken and the other one left, right? Two women could be grinding at the wheels, right? One taken, the other left, right? It's a weapon designed to, I don't know, kind of discern the wheat from the tares anyway, or the Christians today versus Christians. Mm. The non-Christians, I guess, right? To think to determine who thinks differently even, I guess, right? And to try to target that train of thought, right? Mm. Right. And wipe it out and wipe it out. <laughs> that's what the weapon is designed to do. Kill anything that's not pattern, right? Right, you know what I mean? Right, right. And, uh, well, see, you're half, if you understand, spiritual and half physical, right? So anything dead to it, not considered living, right? The neutron bomb wouldn't hurt, right? 
But you gotta fine tune it then, right? To a certain frequency to get only the Christians, right? See, that's what you're talking about, Christians, right? A weapon so advanced that one use of it would wipe out you all, right? Where that one's by the other and the other's taken and the other's left, right? Behind, right, right. Well, within the next 40 years or 30 years, right? By 2060, we might actually be there in the technology department, right? And whatever the hell they're doing out at Skinwalker Ranch and all that stuff, ancient aliens, right? Or is it modern aliens messing with the Hindu scriptures? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever they're doing, they're doing it based on some kind of design, some kind of flying object, right? That's working, right? That they might have did before, because see, the thing about India is they're the only proof of nuclear wars before, you know, right? There were nuclear wars now, right, right. Even the idea of dropping the, the bombs on Hiroshima came from the Hindu scriptures, right? And that's the same thing you see near India, right? That little village, I forgot the name of it again, but right. That's the point, right? And that proves some of the scriptures true. So even their scriptures, Jews and Christians, are true for their region, right? Just like, you know, they once thought Troy was a myth. Well, they found the city of Troy, right? <laughs> so there must have been a Helen and a Hector and all that, right? Right. I know. And what was his name? Achilles, right? Agamemnon, whatever, right, right. And Paris, Paris. <laughs> Not the girl, Paris, the boy, Paris. <laughs> of course, of course. But like I told you, if you're using technology to sound better, that's what people mean. <laughs> and you put out a record, right, right. I mean, come on, how bad are you if you have to use someone to come into the studio after you to make you sound better, right? And that's what I'm trying to teach people to do a scene on their own, right? With or without the machine, right? Because it don't really help you sing, sing, right? It helps you sound better, maybe, but still, it's not you perfectly, right? But see, you... Either sound bad or you don't, right? Some people can fake sounding bad and really sound good, right? right. <laughs> See, that's the difference, too. Ugatanito! Okay. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> I can sing bad, I guess, right? But I keep singing, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Right? <laughs> so I did a little different than that, haven't <laughs> But if you're trying to teach people something you learned the hard way, you don't want them to go through what you went through, but they still don't want to deal with it, but yeah, try, yeah, try, right. There's something you're missing that Jesus is saying. You're leaving it behind, right, right. Mm -hmm. In the past, and it was supposed to be in, with you in the future, and you don't want to deal with it, right. And that would include the butt sex with Satan, right, right. You don't want to deal with that. If that happened in Eden, you don't want to deal with that. Well, you, you get out of Eden, idiot, right. Not biting the little piece of fruit tree. <laughs> that never made sense to me, right, right. What does that mean, right? I ain't bitten some kind of fruit tree and I covered my genitalia because of it. <laughs> it's trying to get you to look beyond the script, though, right? Any parable, if you read it correctly, doesn't make sense, <laughs> right? Because it's a parable, right? It's not the full telling of the story, just like the sower sowing the seed, right? That's there's a deeper meaning to that, though it does deal with something and how the sower, while he's sowing the seed, it falls upon certain soils, right? right. 
or certain things eat it, right? Real quickly after it's thrown down, right? Birds, right? Rocky ground, right? right. And I know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good ground, right? Yeah, that too, that too. Right. And then thorny ground, thorny is the ground. And the thorns choke it, right, right. Or tears among the wheat, right. Well, the enemy sowed you sometimes, and you're acting like tears among the wheat, right. You don't want to hear the truth in time to save you, right. And yet, even the unjust are resurrected after the millennial reign of Jesus, with Jesus still in charge until the last 2,000 years of the 10,000 year period, right? Of the tribulation period, right? Even with the millennial reign, though, it ain't over yet, John, right? You know that, right? right. Why does God give Satan two more thousand years to repent? And then he has to wipe him out with fire, huh? Right, right. From heaven for real, right? Right. I know. And what does that do? The great white throne judgment, and you're judged according to your works, like God don't know what you're doing from the end to the beginning, Satan, right? The only last thing to do is either repent of all your sins, right? Or go to the lake of fire because of all your sins. See, I think he'll repent, idiot, right? But that means you got to reset everything, remake everything, right? You go back to the beginning. You go back, Jack, you do it again. We'll turn it round and round. That's why, that's why we think things in a loop, right? Why do you think that's part of it, right? we only seen 12 deaths, but you can rearrange them, but come on, there's got to be some pattern there, right? <sighs> that you're abusing, too, right? You know, I, I, I see you got a song-making machine or something, right, right? Well, that's cheating to make a song, right? We don't have one at home. We don't have one at home. And I heard you've got to pay sometimes to use one. Sex is currency with them, right? They mix business for pleasure. I was told not to do that, but some do, some do. You know. <laughs> and if you want access to their machine, I guess you got to put up or shut up. Huh? Right. <laughs> you know, like I said, right? <laughs> Any man would fork over money, though, to a pretty girl before, you know, 53-year-old male, right? I mean, you'd have to be flaming, huh, though, right? The best of me, right? And even then, you can say no to me, right? right? I don't care about that. And I damn sure ain't gonna put it in you, but... Just the female, just the female, right? Well, some of us do understand, and some of us struggle with it, and some of us don't, right? But it's all part of the grace of God, right? He's tolerating us while we're sinning, right, right? Not Satan, right, right? He's trying to play judge, juror, and executioner, and also executed himself to make sure we die with him, dummy, right, right? When someone goes down into the grave, that's usually someone who's suicidal to begin with, right? But how else can you say it if someone went down into the grave, right? Voluntarily, right? We call it suicide today, but they didn't have that word in the Hebrew. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> no, they didn't. No, they didn't. But if someone goes down into the grave voluntarily, they're trying to kill themselves, right? Right? Or they killed themselves after they did the wrong they did with Adam and Eve. Dummy, right? <laughs> and that killed them 930 years later. Dummy, right? That's why it took that long, though, too, right? It was just sex in the butt, right? It is something you can do alternatively, right? Now, eventually, you might have some people might have went gay. I don't know. Who cares, right? But <laughs> it's not the real issue about sex, right? 
You know, it's also Satan denying you could do that kind of thing and try to make you think it's wrong the way he did it with Adam, right? And then you're condemning yourself for that too, right? Mm -hmm. And then you did do it with him, so if you condemn yourself for the same act you did with him and he went and killed yourself, your reward is to die with him because you're condemning yourself for the same act you did with him, right? That's why Jesus said to forgive the act, right? Is better than to condemn the act, right? Because you go to hell with Satan if you condemn it, right? I mean, I don't know how many times I got to tell you that, but that's what Jesus is really saying, right? But you got to put it in a modern spin now, right? 2,000 years later, you just can't handle the truth anymore. It barely got to Constantine, right? And even then, he's not wanting to deal with that aspect of the sexual part of the sin in Eden, right? You can't rape someone without sex being involved anyway, right? So if the Gnostics are talking about the seduction, the beguilement, or rape of Eve, right? It's still kind of noting the sexual act between Eve and Satan and then Adam and then Adam. And Baruch by Justin tells you not the rock song <laughs> or the pop singer, right? A dude called Justin before Justin even was thought of, right? right. That Justin, <laughs> though he's here now, right? Like I said, right? But that's like his little movie about time, right? I know, uh, too. Kind of based on, you know, you got so long to live anyway, right? Most people do. Most people do. Mm hmm. So unlike them, it's not clocked out for you, right? right. Mm -hmm. All the time either, right? So Jesus did up to 32 at least and a half years, right? So you can say 33 years total from when he was conceived in the sixth month, which could be depending on the calendar you used. Now there were two in use at the time, right? One is the sacred and one is the civil mm -hmm. or birthing calendar, right? Well, one September is the first month and February the sixth month, right? March, right? Well, in the other, February, March is the first month and then September, um, let's see, August, September is the sixth month or September, October, somewhere in there, right? Not sure exactly which months really coincide there, right? In the Roman calendar, right? right. But usually the Jewish calendar goes between, right? The month of the mm -hmm, Roman calendar, right? And their calendar is solar, and again, the Hebrew calendar is lunar. All right. And this is just FYI. <laughs> I mean, it's not because you want to know the truth, right? People try to tell you the truth anyway, right? right. If someone really cares about you, right? They're going to try to tell you the whole truth up the truth to help God, right? If someone don't give a damn, they're not going to tell you shit, right? You know, unless you just do it with a hit in your dealt, right? And then you end up wherever you end up, right? If you believe there are lies over the truth, too, that's the problem, too, right? Though you could still be in the place of torment with the rich man and Laz Lazarus in the bosom of Abraham, right? With Lazarus, right? If you're a good or bad person, then you get again. Now, at the end, right, it's all cast into what? The lake of fire, the lake of fire, right? And that means after that, everything can't die, right? It goes to some type of immortality, right? Though Satan taught us death by killing his human form, right? That's why we die, right? Does that make sense if we bite into the little piece of fruit and don't understand why that killed us, right? 930 years later? <laughs> but sex with the devil and him murdering himself and committing suicide would understand it, right? Now, that don't mean if your kid's suicidal today, right, he's automatically in hell, right? 
I ain't saying that either, either, right? God knows what's going on, right? Don't worry about that, right? Plus, I say he is in hell. Right? We don't know, but, right? Anyway, anyway. But, if you think that I just make a mistake before you hit the ground or whatever it is that killed you, right, right? God knows repentance, you understand, right? Or realizing you were sorry, but you did it something you couldn't take back right away, right? It knows that too. I'm not telling you to commit suicide. I'm not telling you not to commit suicide, but I know some people who do might realize they made a mistake before they die, die. Right, right. You know what I mean, right? And all it takes with God is like the thief on the cross, right? So it's not over to the fat lady thieves. <laughs> Not the fat man, not the fat man. <laughs> fat man. Burda, 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 fat man. <laughs> Ever heard that one? Right. Is that a fat man, fat man? <laughs> right, Ben? Right, Ben. I don't mean you, though. <laughs> ben was a name before Ben became a Ben. Right. <laughs> So I ain't talking about you, Mr. Stir. No, no. <laughs> or Keaton or anyone there, anyone specifically. <laughs> but that's the point about names. Even Shane is an Irish name, right? But it means ivory tooth or ivory tusk of an elephant. See, I'm the tusk of an elephant. <laughs> I'm, I'm something you don't want to see up close <laughs> and personal. Unless you're ready to get charged by the elephant. <laughs> I'm coming out of his tooth. <laughs> I'm that little pointy tooth you see, right? I'm kind of like that. <laughs> you, know, you know, I'm in your face. I'm ready to gore your ass. <laughs> I'm ready to gore your ass. <laughs> If I have to now, <laughs> if I have to now. If I don't have to, I'm friendly. I can be friendly. <laughs> you can even domesticate me. <laughs> but you gotta treat me right, right? So if you treat me wrong and I get pissed at you, I'll ruin your day. you ruin your day. But you can't do it either, right? See, here's the point. No sex, you can't shoot me, right? Sex, you can shoot me, right? No sex, you can't black me out. Sex, you can black me out, right? <laughs> right? <sighs> but if I resurrected, <laughs> whether you black me out or not, right? Do you think the girl's gonna feel guilty and try to have that with me anyway? Yeah. Yeah. Cause why? <laughs> one, she would be the only one I was interested in. Not every girl in the salon. Come on, come on. I'm more looking for a girlfriend than girlfriend. So I wouldn't mind too. <laughs> like I said. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I get to. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but there's reasons for that. Right? And it don't mean, right, right, <laughs> anything specific, but that we're arguing about something you don't want to understand, right? Why are there male and female here then, right? Reproductive reasons, reproductive reasons, right? That God may seek a godly seed according to Malachi, right? But then again, right? You're saying even her that's put away committeth adultery, right? Was that what the woman at the well was all about? Did Jesus commit adultery with her too? <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> and he's offered her living water. What water goes into the woman 
that if Jesus is speaking 2,000 years ago, <laughs> right, he's offering her living water that will not die. Right? The other men did what? Were cast out of her. Six of them didn't get her pregnant. No, no. Even the dude she was with. So, that's what I'm, I'm talking about. One of the women that was kind of barren, right, right. Who was going out to Elias of Dago's church, right? Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Group meeting, right? And old Susanna, old Susanna, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But see, she's having boyfriend issues, right? And I don't know why, come on. A Jewish girl would be going out there anyway. <laughs> really. But someone's talking, right? About me. <laughs> Either Mrs. Hildago or Mr. Hildago, right? And she's doing something with me, I don't recall, right? But she won't, he wants her with his Jewish friend, right? You see what I mean? He's prejudiced, right? Against the Goyim because he don't know my nationality, right? Even though I'm a circumcised male, for some Jews that ain't enough to marry a Jewish woman, right? Even if I knock Susan and the other woman up, right? That don't matter to some people, right? You know what I mean? Like, Jesus, if he knocked up the woman at the well, <laughs> that don't matter to them, right? <laughs> He's the bad guy. <laughs> That's crucified. <laughs> what do you think it's all about? He did steal the other man's girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, he did. If he slept with her too. <laughs> the difference is, though, she's a grown-ass woman. Right. Just living with a dude by that time, probably, right? Ain't been with him in a while. <laughs> Never he didn't get her pregnant either, in other words, right? And she's still technically, like I said, a grown-ass woman, right? So if she did something with Jesus, who's offering her living fluids, <laughs> water, water, what do you think that means to the woman if you have sex with six other men and they didn't live in you? <laughs> dumbass, dumbass. What do you think it means when it says be lifted up the everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in right how did Jesus enter in by the door who is the door the virgin Mary the virgin Mary is the door she's the female <laughs> he came into the world by unless you don't understand why you're calling her the mother of God <laughs> in the flesh and she is and she is you can't quite deny that Baptist either, right? The Catholics aren't wrong. She is the mother of God, but come on. Y'all both arguing about nitpick stuff, and none of you are in the truth anymore. None of you. <laughs> you are the Catholics. You still being too orthodox, or too Jewish, or too Roman, or too this, or too that for Jesus, right? And staying in your own comfort zone, right? Within God, right? <laughs> and anyone can do that, by the way. Right. <laughs> right. And pretend they're doing right by God or the world or other people, but really you're not. No. no. <laughs> but first we got to establish what we're lying about. Right. That's the problem. You don't want to deal with what you're lying about. Right. <laughs> I've been proving that for 15 years on YouTube. <laughs> and you keep throwing my stepdaughter in my face like she ain't my ex-stepdaughter just like my ex-wife, right? And I never went after her, right? I'm still in Georgia. <laughs> From the time I left Virginia after Mary Bell, <laughs> which was in March, right? Of 96, right? So I didn't go back for Mary Bell till... September, right? But she promised to move with me, but didn't, but didn't. So, again, right? You can't commit to someone who ain't fully committed to you. 
though you're trying to love her, you know she's having issues with her ex, right? And whatever those issues are, she's not letting him go. She's either lying to you, wants to be with him still, <laughs> and she said you need to prove to him he can fuck anybody, right, or something, or something. <laughs> she still loved him, right? Seems that way to me too. If you know she got pregnant and was with Scott and wanted to deal with his mind, right, right. That would explain why too, right? See, if you want someone more than they want you, <laughs> it becomes apparent because you almost have to beg them for the sex. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Right. I'm loving the sex with her. You know, not saying she ain't having fun herself, but. The commitment issue was always the issue, even after I divorced my ex-wife, right? And the pregnancy is either two weeks off for me, or less than six months from the other guy, right? See, one's about eight months, and then four pounds, nine ounces, right? One's two pounds, right? And that's giving him, if he got better at the beginning of December, the first of December, right? The first of December to the 31st of May is how many months? Six. six. Mm -hmm. Do some math. December, January, February, March, April is five. May is six. Very well. And what does that make me feel like? You didn't want me. <laughs> you were just using me for sex. <laughs> and I understand, right? She didn't want me, right? But you're an ex-girlfriend acting loopy <laughs> yourself if I got you pregnant or not, not knowing if I could or not, right? That's still taking advantage of the schizophrenia like they did in the Navy, right? Especially at the fall. <laughs> They could have done that, too. <laughs> see, I'm just checking the window to see if it's even openable. <laughs> if it's not openable, I got four options to get down. <laughs> All of them involve jumping from one of the window edges, right, right, right? Or going to the other side and getting down and jumping down to the lower level, right? I got up on, right? I still have to jump down from the roof to get off of the building. Right, right. <sighs> I told you this before, then, right? See, see. Mm -hmm. I explained it to you why. <laughs> I don't tempt the Lord like Jesus didn't say to Satan. Okay, well, I'm going to go jump off the temple just because you said so, Satan. Right? <laughs> either, either, right? I'm in the same situation, but it's still half the distance. But like they told you on the show tonight, right? You can die from a three-story fall out the window ledge, right? Out the, out the window, right? Mm -hmm. Three to six can kill you, right? The boy who died and Paul raised him from the dead is proof too, right? That is in the Bible. Acts chapter 20, verses 8 through 10. I told him that too. Well, there's probably something in the Bible we ain't mean. <laughs> there's a lot of things in the Bible they're not showing us. Right? His story is one of them. Not to get you to jump three stories either. either right? Though if you do, God can raise you from the dead. Right? Or it's an accident. It's still an accident. Even if I flipped from the window and drink. Which that's what I assumed it was. I slipped from the window and drink. But if you're all up on my butt, we must have talked about Daphne and the daughter, right? That night. <laughs> Before I was put in the hospital from the dude who thought I fell from the window and drink. Himself, himself. 
See, if you dump my body and you attack me, right? My body as part of its defense, making it absurd. And I told them this too about ninjutsu, right? Will shut down temporarily until I'm safe, right? And then start up again, right? Kind of what the resurrection is anyway, right? Now, the trauma to Jesus includes a spear wound, right? From which blood and water, meaning it went into at least the lungs and the heart, idiot, right? Came out of and fell on the ground, right? Okay. Now, the plaque read in three different languages, Jesus, King of the Jews, right? Jehovah's Witnesses, right? Can you do that with a stake or a cross? A cross. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's no torture stake. <laughs> There's a cross. There's a cross. Quit playing games. God don't care about your little idiosyncrasies either, either. You're just making a controversy. Right? It's called strife, brother. When you're in the church, right? And you're arguing moot points. You're not seeing the beam in your eye. You're seeing the boat in your brother's eye, right? Remember that? <laughs> You're judging the cross itself, right? Because it was a Roman cross. It was a, a torture state, right? I get your point, right? Though, too, it don't matter what the fuck you got on, right? Okay. <laughs> Call it what you want, torture, stake, or cross. It's, it's still right for the purpose of killing someone, right? Who's a political problem for you, right? And that's what it's about, right? But the cross was usually T-shaped, right? The problem was the placard, right, on top of the cross, right? Would make it a cross, right? So you to write all that in Hebrew, Greek, and Latin, right, is Rex, right, right, you know, Yeshua, or Iesu, right, Rex, Yehuda, Yehuda, right, Yehuda, whatever, and then you go to the Greek, right, and then the Hebrew, right, and it's got to be so people can read it too, right. Which in the Hebrew is uh, mm -hmm. this, right? Whatever that is, right? I mean, Yeshua, right? Right. Melek, Yehuda, Yehuda. Or Yahuda, Yahuda. Now you can say Yahuda, but you can't say Yahua. <laughs> That's what Moses means, right? He made the name so simply Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. But Yahuda, you can say, right? But not Yahuwah. Come on. Right? You're playing games with God. You're playing games with God. <laughs> That's what he's seeing too, right? Whatever dumbass rabbi, not all of your dumbasses, but... <laughs> The first one to suggest Adonai in place of Yahuwah, mm -hmm. he's an idiot, right? <laughs> and you're all following him straight to hell with him, right? That's all he's doing is dragging you down to hell with him, man, too, too. By making you think you're unworthy to say the name, right? That's one of the seven seals. Yahuwah or Yehuda. Yeah. You can say Yehuda, Y H D H, right? That's how many letters, right? Mm hmm. Yahoo, da, mm hmm. Is that five letters? It's five letters. So it's Y H W D H, right? You can even see the divine name there, but you can't say it as Yahuwah, mm -hmm. or even Yahvah, hello, hello. <laughs> Seth, 
farther north. Mm. Uh, broken, broken, that's it, that's it. <laughs> now, I'm not mad, right? But I'm trying to show you Moses didn't hide your name, some crazy rabbi did, so quit listening to him. He's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I mean, Joy. The idiots, being <laughs> they're getting you in trouble. <laughs> Now, you can be mad with Trump all you want, but it's the Jewish men, too, right, that do stupid things. <laughs> As do the Gentile men. I'm not saying we're brilliant rocket scientists, either. Right? <laughs> but even they can take things too far, right? They want to go to Mars, but can't work out the problems here, right? You know what I mean, right? All uh, you're doing there is reading the same problems as the bars that you have here, right? Sabotage, sabotage, right? See, that's the point about being told you will die in the day you eat thereof, right? And doing it anyway until it's too late, right? And see, once well, Satan gets his turn, he's not done until he's done, right, right? Even if you beg and plead, right? You, you, it's your turn, right? With the devil, <laughs> And that's when you knew he was the devil. <laughs> you knew you were naked the whole time, right? And it finally bothered you, right? When he put it in the butt, right? right? You don't see that correlation to sex, right? And shame, right? And rape, right? As Eve was too, right? But raping someone gently to get to the male partner, right? Dummy, dummy. Makes sense too, don't it? Right. So you gotta have somebody kind of in your corner, right? If you're trying to see these both, right? Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve, right? They both had to eat of the fruit of the tree of his body, right? Mm hmm. Now, mm, that's how Ezekiel words it, right? The, mm. Ezekiel 31, let's talk about the trees. It envy the tree in Genesis 6. Dude. And which tree is the first tree to sit? Right. Satan himself. Right. I know. And he, we became as one of them. One of the fallen. Right. Between the first fallen, which is Satan himself, to the last fallen before the flood. Right. And some say Noah was special, right? They say he was an albino-looking child born in more darker-skinned people by that time, right? See, the other thing is um, a lot's going on in that 2,000-year period, right? Between the fall and Moses and the giving of the law, which is about 2,500 years after the fall, right? Even, even, right? And even from 2,500 years to 3,500 years today, right? 6,000 years old, right, right. We're all confused by it, right? Scientists mm -hmm. can't tell the day or the hour we are being either, either, right? But even if the days are as a 1,000 years, scientists, and everything was made from scratch in, say, a day, right, right. By day six, Within 200 years, could you make all the creatures on the planet Earth if you could just form them by speaking them into existence, right? See, the thing about God is, right, it can form all the material it needs in the creature it's forming, right? The chicken came first, but the hen can lay the egg, right? But the rooster has to get the egg pregnant for another chick, right? Male or female? Male or female. See, which came first, the chicken or the egg? The chicken? <laughs> I'll answer you, fool, but you gotta believe me. Right. You can't see God making the chicken. You weren't there yet either. either. <laughs> Even if you think it's 25,000 years, right? Or 250,000 years, right? It's just semantics, right? 
Now, what did God do, though, with the Adam after the fall? Make coats like cavemen, <laughs> which is why I keep referencing Captain Cavemen, right? That's in your Bible, too, that he made skins like Neanderthal and Cromagnon, right? War. Mm -hmm. Now, why did man do that for however long he did that, right? Until he learned about claws, right? Clothing, clothing, right? And then he started making fashion, fashion, right? Fashion, 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 fashion. Fashion, 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 fashion. There they are, the fashion people. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> fashion. The passion is in the fashion. Well, like I said, <laughs> you know she wear it well sometimes, and that's why I like the woman of the minion, baby. <laughs> There's a better design, right? <laughs> Now, Satan might have had a problem, too. The male mm -hmm. thought they were pretty when they were one. Mm -hmm. He was beautiful. <laughs> but she was beautifuler. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And he became jealous of her. You understand? Yes. I know. Well, the truth makes you free, right? Even if you say gay, right? You can tell the truth and the whole truth makes you free, or you can stay in the lie and keep lying with the devil, right? That's the point, right? But even being gay ain't the point, right? It's how you act after you have sex with another man, right? Okay? okay. Now, gentle sex with a male is between you and your partner, right? Rough sex or rape sex, right? Or sex to hurt the male and shame him, right? Is what I'm talking about in Eden, right? Yeah, Eve was raped <laughs> when Adam played the female to Satan. <laughs> Did you get it, right? <sighs> ah, I know. And see, Adam too is male and female, right? X, Y, X, X, right? So the female, meaning Eve, in Adam was raped by Satan's male privy parts, right? <laughs> Members, right? Or penis, right? Which is your seed shooter, right? If you're male, the female. All this is in your Bible too, right? So you can't handle the truth, right? All I can do is try to tell you. Bye-bye.